Throughout the Bible, God used characters that were always misfits. They didn't have it together, nor were they qualified to do anything of their own merit. The same thing happens today and throughout history. God uses certain people, chooses them, and elects to, through their brokenness, use them for certain things to confound the wise, to confuse people, and to really make people scratch their heads and think, how could God use somebody like Moses? that murdered somebody? How could somebody use a a tiny dinky guy to defeat Goliath like David? Many other characters, the same happens today, and many Christians cannot get over the fact that God is using certain people in positions of power, like in politics, like Trump, for his bidding. Nobody is worshiping Trump. Yes, there are certain people that are weak and they know nothing about God and they're doing that, but those that really know and want to stand for righteous things, and they really want to get past the media, get past this whole charades and just uh, listening uh, like a telephone charade game to people saying an opinion about somebody and thinking they know something about somebody, but really they don't. I followed Trump, many of you guys have followed Trump for a very long time, and we know that he's being attacked, he's going under tremendous just pressure with different things, and the fact that he just literally takes all of this even though he could have had a comfortable life, he's fighting for the things of the Lord. Nobody says that he's this holy, amazing man of God, like this pastoral figure that has it all together and no blemishes. No, as a president fighting for certain things, especially geopolitical international issues, this is the man God has chosen that I've said before that he's using. But during this time, and from the first term, even and even before that, all the way through now, God is still using him, but he's refining him. He's, uh, you know, growing him, sanctifying him, and he's doing all these other things around him, all the other people, bringing certain people into his life, uh, expelling other people out and just cleaning house and all these things. It's, It's a huge sovereign mess in a sense that we don't really fully understand. But if you have eyes to see, right, and you would know and you would agree with my position, he's not perfect. Again, nobody's worshiping him, but he's being used for big things right now. So I'm saying this because today news came out and of course he's just been going through a lot of issues, especially with this Attorney General Letitia James and just harping him ever since this um, civil fraud petition was brought uh, back in September of 2022. And even before that, this person elected saying that my sole thing in some sense is just to get Trump, right? A lot of people are out to get him. And a lot of people are doing that because they lost the battle. They know what's coming And they have nothing else to lose except to try to win people in the court of public opinion as well as in the actual courts of what's happening now. So he just came out of trial today at the time of this video testifying with this crazy, ridiculous case that uh, he even says uh, that you have no case is from his uh, testimony. And he's talking about his properties. And a lot of people are laughing, right? A lot of people are laughing in the sense that his property value, people would love to buy it at the whatever, you know, 10 figure million or whatever, whatever it was, it's a cheap value. But yet people are harping on this financial sort of fraud or whatever it is that he supposedly had. But of course, none of it is true in the sense that they have no case. This is all a circus act. They're trying to get him for nothing. And in some sense, they're projecting their own crimes onto Trump, where Uh, And again, this is deeper stuff, but if you follow Q and just all these other people, they say that Trump has to go through this first. So in the sense of the public viewing, you know, trials and and the tribunals and all this stuff, the military arrests, all this stuff that's going to happen later, it sort of has to happen to Trump first in the sense that people can digest it. But what I mean by it happening to Trump first, I mean that it's being accused on him, right? They, with the raid on Mar-a-Lago and all this other stuff, the documents, the classified stuff, none of it has merit, right? We've already talked about all of those things. He was a president. He can declassify and all that stuff. It kind of has to happen to him, falsely accused, and then it will happen for real to these other people. And so this is happening right now, guys. Whether it's being planned at a bigger white hat controlled level or it's just this you know, mini battle back and forth, whatever this plan is, It's working in the sense that even this weekend, his poll numbers, especially in the battleground states, he's up, right? And again, I'm not going to talk about that because there's another outside factor happening with regards to 
uh, progressing the elections from a 2024 perspective, but really, according to many people like Derek Johnson and the theory of devolution, these guys, they know, we know that he is commander in chief behind the scenes, but yet there are things that have to happen optically in the public light because of the stolen 2020 election and how there's all this foreign interference, this foreign stuff, they have to take them down. And so I'll talk about that at some point later. I've talked about it for a while now. A lot of people uh, dig into this very well. And they have proof in the sense that a certain legal documents, executive orders are in place that give clue to these things. But this is another issue. Right now, I'm saying that Trump, the White Hats, the Patriots, these guys, they're going through massive amounts of attack. They're going through massive amounts of pressure. I I don't want to say that they're stressed, but if I was in his shoes, Trump's shoes, or anybody else, 24-7, he's going through things that are probably weighing him down like crazy. Yes, he has a team. Yes, he has people that are helping him and just many other generals, military generals. But the fact is he needs our prayer and he needs support. He needs us to... Uh, really come to his aid in the spiritual sense because, again, nobody's worshiping him. Nobody's uh, giving him glory in the sense of uh, this idol, but rather we on the side of God's plan, his righteousness, we need to team up and be united in this sense. A lot of people will still not understand. I've said this before. If you saw this, the disciples, if you saw Matthew, Peter, James, John, these guys, the Bible says people thought they were uneducated common people. They were laughing at him. They were laughing at the fact that, wow, I can't believe that, first of all, this Jesus Christ guy is here saying that he's the Messiah, the Savior, and the King of the Jews, or whatever, you know, all this stuff mocking him. And then to go as far as picking these 12 doofuses, right, to do his bidding as apostles, disciples, what have you, they're laughing at that aspect. So no, so people in that camp, they're not going to understand how God uses people, broken people, people that don't have it all together and redeems them, gives them identity. He's using these people. And if you don't understand that, that's fine. But those that do and were really praying for God to work, then you would understand this and you would know that we need to join hands, really to be united as one because we are the chosen generation. We are being separated wheat from chaff. We are being refined and honed. And this is a time right now for many of us to get out of this lukewarm state, to get out of this sort of worldly, uh, wide path mentality. It's a narrow path for a reason, the Bible says. So I want to give you guys just this quick encouraging word. And really, as I see his life, just the lives of many other people, myself included, many other influencers, a lot of you guys doing the work yourselves, interceding, doing the daily local stuff, whatever you know, calling you guys all have, please let's continue praying and let's continue supporting And we have to make sure we get the news, the information, the narrative, these things correct. Because if you're anchoring off the wrong mentality, a rumor that somebody said about somebody that you don't even know if it's true or not, these things uh, is what destroys the church. It it destroys reputations and people, and you're just fanning the flame of unnecessary things. So again, this only applies and makes sense to certain people. We need the support. We need the help. A lot of us, we are in just this last little gasp. The finish line is close, but we still need to continue pushing, pressing on, fighting the entire time. So continue going, be encouraged, guys. I want to ask you guys if you can support me. Links are in the description below. I really need support. I have journals, I have t-shirts, I have many things. If you guys really are able to take a moment to go to the store, the link is below. Just buy one or two things. Would love the support. Love you guys. Talk to you guys very soon.